So you're thinking about moving to Biddeford, Maine, but you want to know a little bit more about the city before you actually make the move. You want to know what the downtown looks like, where your kids are going to go to school, where you're going to go grocery shopping and see what your day to day commute is going to look like. So that's exactly what we're going to cover in today's video. We're going to drive through Biddeford so you can kind of get a feel for what it's like so you can figure out if this is the right place for your next move or investment. Biddeford is the seventh largest city in the entire state of Maine at over 22,000 people. And there's a lot to cover, so let's get into it. By the way, my name's Margaret, and if you wanna know everything there is about living in Biddeford, make sure to subscribe below so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Southern Maine. We have people just like you call, text, and email us all the time looking for more information about the area, whether they're buying, selling, or investing. So if you're in need of any assistance, all of our contact information is in the description below. All right, so currently we are right on the edge of Biddeford and we are in the very first stop, which is going to be the plaza that has Market Basket, Target, CVS, TJ Maxx, Staples, PetSmart, and really a lot of other stores in here as well. Um, this is obviously a big shopping center here in Biddeford. This is where a lot of people are going to get their groceries. Um, and if you're running errands, this is likely where you're going to end up going. It's certainly beneficial to have in the town. I know a lot of people living in other neighboring towns come to Biddeford just to be able to go to Market Basket. It's a very affordable grocery store if you're not familiar with it. Um, and there's just a lot of stores here that are not in other smaller towns such as Pennybunk or Wells or really even York or Kittery. A lot of smaller towns in Southern Maine don't even have grocery stores and so you have to drive to uh, cities like Biddeford just to be able to do that kind of thing. Maine definitely has a slower pace of life and so that kind of comes along with it. So now we're gonna exit this plaza. Like I said, off to the left over here is right where we came from. It's the edge of Biddeford. And so now we are gonna drive by more of the shops and show you more of the downtown area of Biddeford. But the first thing I wanted to do was drive you guys through this area so you can see all of the amenities that Biddeford has that other neighboring towns don't. So as you can see, there's a lot going on here, gas stations, restaurants, stores like Home Depot, different restaurants like Applebee's, there's salons in here. Uh, phone companies, truly everything right on this strip here. There's not really a lot of residential housing for obvious reasons. This area is primarily commercial, um, but it's definitely, it's busy constantly and it's not just the residents of Biddeford. Um, there's tons of people from other, other towns coming here. And honestly, what I like about Biddeford is this, I guess is a pro and a con. Um, it's not super, traditionally touristy. Biddeford is a, it is a coastal town. And I think a lot of people are starting to realize that um, Biddeford pool, like we're going to, which is what we're going to drive by later. We're going to show you uh, where kind of the ocean is in Biddeford, but Biddeford's a coastal town, but I don't think people really recognize it as one when they're coming to Maine to visit. A lot of people, when they want to go to the beach, they want to go to a gunk with, they want to go to Kennebunk or Kennebunk port. Um, and rightfully so, those are beautiful areas with beautiful beaches, but Biddeford is a beautiful coastal, technically a city, um, and it just, it has so much to offer that a lot of smaller towns don't have. And so while some people might think that the different chains or the fact that it's a city are more of a con for it being in Maine and they don't, may not want to move here because of those reasons, I say it's beneficial to move here because you're avoiding a lot of tourism and while yes it's busier because other towns are coming here to get their groceries and such it's not you're not going to deal with the traffic that you're going to deal with in downtown Agunquip because the roads are built for more people here so yes it attracts more people but it attracts people in a different way than a lot of other coastal towns and you get to enjoy the ocean without having quite as many tourists come to the beach with you and so a lot of people really like that so off to the left over here, we're approaching some more stores like Ocean State Job Lot. Um, and there's another plaza up here on the left as well. And right now we're on Route 1 heading towards Saco, just to kind of give you an idea of the general sense of direction. But yeah, this is, this is it. This is where all the stores are. Even in downtown, you're going to find um, a lot of, there's more residential housing in downtown. You're not going to find a Walmart um, in that area. So this is where a lot of people go shopping. And downtown is really more of where people go out 
Um, there's even more, there's more smaller restaurants, fewer chains in that particular area of town. Um, and it's a little bit prettier with the old buildings, the older architecture. Um, this area, like I said, mostly commercial, not a lot of residential, but it's definitely a bonus to have in the town, regardless of how you feel about chains. Okay, so now we are in downtown Biddeford. I uh, was going to take you guys in and around downtown a little bit, but unfortunately my favorite coffee shop is closed, so that'll have to be for another time. But Elements is probably my favorite place to get coffee or breakfast in downtown Biddeford. So if you're coming to the area, you should definitely check that one out. A lovely couple I met through YouTube actually introduced me to it. So check it out. So that is right off to the right over here. And now we are going to drive through downtown Biddeford a little bit. One thing that I love about this area is the fact that it's super walkable. Um, and a lot of people don't even really think about that when they think about Biddeford. But certainly if you're looking for, um, if you're looking to live in this particular area, I always recommend it to people that love to walk places, love to walk to smaller markets, different uh, little shops and restaurants because there's lots of sidewalks here and there's lots of foot traffic, which you're not really gonna find in any other um, coastal town here in Maine. You are certainly going to see plenty of that in Biddeford. A lot of people wanna move to downtown Biddeford because it's super walkable and because there is lots to do. Uh, you don't really have to get in your car very often. It's clearly very beautiful and it tends to attract a lot of people. My apologies for the weather being so terrible today. Unfortunately, this entire really summer and now we're into fall, um, the weather has just been terrible. This entire season has been kind of a wash weather wise. Um, and I'm sure that's definitely affected the tourism in Maine as well. But normally uh, in any other summer, the weather would not be this bad. I'll try and insert some aerial footage if I can. Um, I can't guarantee the skies are gonna look all that blue, but it's worth a shot. But yeah, this will give you a general idea of what it looks like in downtown Biddeford. We talk about the downtowns and different coastal towns uh, in the area because I think they're a huge aspect of moving to the area. Most people like to walk around and you know go in all the different shops and restaurants, but um, a lot of towns or smaller cities in the area don't have a downtown that's as awesome as Biddeford's. And people really, I feel, don't appreciate it enough. Even if you go to downtown Agunquit or Kennebunkport, it is a cute little area to go. Um, but it's not very big. You could walk the entire downtown area in probably under 10, 15 minutes. In Biddeford, it would take you hours. Um, and it's certainly not even as busy or big as the old port in downtown Portland. But for a smaller coastal town or a smaller coastal city, this is definitely a big deal. And it's huge to have something like this in your town. Um, and it's fun to have a lot of people come to Biddeford to be able to go out in this area. And so for people who wanna kind of enjoy more nightlife, but they don't really want to pay to live in Portland, I would definitely recommend this area. So over this bridge off to the left that we are going to avoid uh, would be Saco, but I'm not gonna take you guys through that area just yet because that's another video. But now we're kind of, I'm just gonna briefly show you that right outside of downtown is where a lot of residential units are. I've helped people find places in this area quite a few times um, and people really seem to be happy with it. You know, I always encourage people to really check out uh, the area before they make the move because it's such a big deal. And that's why I like to drive people kind of through these different areas because you don't really get a feel when you're just looking on Google Maps what the residential housing is going to look like and what the downtown area is going to look like. You really want to experience it. And so I always tell people to come to the area, drive around, check out our videos because you could end up buying a place and then absolutely hating the area that it's in. So I always try and encourage people to see as much of it as they possibly can. And downtown obviously is different from where you're actually going to live. Most people are living out back, um, set back a few blocks from the downtown, the hustle and bustle, the restaurants, the water. Um, and so I think it's important to really experience what that's like as well, because realistically, even if you can walk to downtown, you may not be living in a beautiful older brick building. You may be living in a more modern style home. Um, and just generally speaking, 
it looks a little different back here. It looks more residential. You're not living in a studio apartment above an Italian restaurant. This is what it looks like. As you can tell, a lot of these buildings, a lot of these homes are very pretty and are in good shape. Don't get me wrong, Biddeford's a city, so you're certainly gonna have areas that have housing um, that isn't quite so nice or might not be as well taken care of. But generally speaking, Biddeford's a nice area and there's a lot of great aspects to it and living in these homes so close to downtown is a lot of fun. All right, so this is Biddeford High School, home of the Tigers. Biddeford, generally speaking, scores pretty well compared to the rest of the state, and they have a mean athletics department. They were always super big competition when I was in high school, and I know for certain that has not changed. So if you're looking for a school in a city but granted, this is the only high school in Biddeford. But if you're looking for a school or a school system in a city close to Portland or Portsmouth, New Hampshire, maybe an hour and a half from Boston, this would be a great place for your kids to go to school um, and in a great city as well. So this is what we commonly refer to as Biddeford Pool. It is essentially a neighborhood in Biddeford that is known to have really, really beautiful homes. We're right on the coast here. Um, we're definitely a little bit set back from downtown, a little bit more remote. You're not really going to be able to walk many places um, aside from the beach in this area. But with that said, you do. There is a lot of benefit to living here. The views alone are spectacular. We're right on the coast. As I mentioned, this area tends to be a little bit more touristy. Um, like I said, Biddeford doesn't get a lot of tourists. Um, or it doesn't get as many as maybe towns like Agunquit or Kennebunkport, but it still does get some, and this is where the beach is, so this is kind of where people are gonna be hanging out um, or looking for beach rentals. So it is a phenomenal investment area, and I definitely recommend it. Um, you know, obviously these properties right on the ocean are gonna be a lot more expensive, but if you go a block or two back, things are gonna be a lot more affordable for people who wanna be within walking distance from the beach, driving distance to a lot of the amenities that Biddeford has. So this area is definitely somewhere that a lot of people want to move to and wanna check out. Even the homes in this area right over here are going to be significantly less expensive than those directly on the water. They're certainly more affordable than those ones and they're a great option for people who are looking to be able to walk to the beach but don't necessarily want that hefty price tag. So like I mentioned earlier, I like to kind of try and show you guys around the different areas of Biddeford outside of just the beach and just downtown because realistically, you're not living in a small apartment right above downtown. Maybe you're purchasing it that as an investment property, but realistically, most people are not living right in that central area or living directly on the coast. Um, a lot of people are living somewhere in between, and so I try and show that as best as I can in these videos. Um, you really can't go wrong in either area. They're just completely different areas depending on what you like and what you can afford. And generally speaking, Biddeford, regardless of what you wanna say about chains, um, there's a lot of amenities in Biddeford that people love having around. And realistically, you don't have to live super close to them because this is a pretty big area. So that's what it's like living in Biddeford, Maine. I hope you found this video helpful. And again, my name's Margaret. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send an email or schedule a Zoom call. All that information is linked in the description below. And if you're moving or relocating to the area, we do have a relocation guide linked in the description as well, which can be a super helpful resource if you are moving to Southern Maine. We'll see you next time.